it's been said that it's easier to catch an emotion than it is to catch a cold. But how is that? The Dental MVP uses science to teach people skills to you, the dental professionals. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, The Dental MVP, and don't forget to hit the bell so you never miss out. Are you a sympathetic crier or you can't help but start laughing when you see other people laughing? By the end of this video, you will understand how emotions are contagious. Numerous studies show the dynamic of an emotional contagion. Let's dive a little deeper. Emotional contagion can happen two ways, and it falls down to two out of the five basic senses, so either smell or sight. The Journal of Psychological Science did a really interesting study. They took sweat from the armpits of 10 men while they either watched a very scary movie, which elicit fear within them, or a disgusting TV show like the show Jackass. Unwillingly to 36 women, they took that sweat and they asked them to sniff it. What's really interesting here is what happened next. The women who smelt the sweat of the men who were watching a scary movie actually made facial expressions of fear. And the women who smelt the sweat of those who were watching the disgusting show had a repulsed look on their faces. Two psychologists actually began to pick up on the concept of emotional contagion when they were working with a patient who was a very animated and fast talking. They found themselves yawning during their sessions with him, despite neither of them actually feeling tired. One of the therapists started realizing that what was being conveyed to them actually was these underlying tones of depression that the patient had. But how were they being conveyed? With further insight, he realized that it was non-verbally that they were being conveyed in consistent, measurable ways, ways that are expressed on our face that literally can spill out into a room and infect people. We call these micro-expressions. Micro-expressions are brief, involuntary facial expressions. They only last a fraction of a second, and it shows what a person is feeling. Unlike other emotional feelings and facial expressions, you can't fake these. Researcher Paul Ekman established that there are seven micro-expressions. Namely, they are happiness, surprise, fear, anger, disgust, contempt, and sadness. Micro-expressions are universal and easy to interpret. Want to know how? Make sure to watch our video on micro-expressions. Micro-expressions can happen in absolutely anyone, regardless of culture. It's actually been shown that it's not a learned behavior. So even a child that is born blind will grow up to develop the same exact micro-expressions. That's why we see babies just inadvertently begin to smile. That's one of those micro-expressions. You may begin to exhibit emotion before you even realize it. If someone across the hall is laughing hysterically, your lips might begin to start to curl like you're laughing also, and you don't even realize it. Emotions begin from the outside in. We will exhibit micro-expressions we even feel the emotion itself. Just like our immune system, some of us are more susceptible to catching emotions. Take the emotional contagion test in the link below to see how susceptible you are. Emotional contagion is actually a skill that you're able to work on. Try to be more aware of the emotions that you're exuding. As well, acknowledge the positive or the negative emotions you may be picking up on from others. I challenge you to do a self-reflection. What emotions do you think people are catching from you at the workplace? Do you have someone that maybe you dislike being around or every time you're around them, they're just super negative? In our next video, we're gonna teach you how to not catch the cold. Did you like this video? Make sure to subscribe to our channel, The Dental MVP. Don't forget, like this video and click the bell so you never miss an update.